welcome back to the Legacy Podcast. My name is Alicia Grant, co-founder of Matrix Legacy, Inc. We are back for episode number 49. This is the show where we create a blueprint for success, we look for ways to create generational wealth, and we break those chains of a poverty mindset. For those of you who have been here from the beginning, you already know we got to start with the gratitude. I appreciate every single one of you, all your time, your reviews, your comments, all of that means the absolute world to me. If you are brand new, welcome, welcome. We are just getting heated up. And if there's anything that you would like to hear, or even if you're just enjoying the content in itself, let me know. If you've got any ideas, you can send them in. This is really our show. And I truly just like to lead with that before we hop right in. So disclaimer, if you notice at any point that I'm out of breath, your girl is seven months pregnant and my lungs are sharing a lot of space right now. So that is why, all right? I just just had to put that out there because I can already feel myself running out. So today's topic is based off of me putting out a quote towards the end of last week. And the quote said something along the lines of sometimes regardless of your skill set, your talent, your effort, some things just take time. And that quote was shared dozens and dozens of times. And a lot of people got back to me and said, you know, thanks for the reminder. This one hit home. This one really resonated. And so that kind of tipped me off to understand that a lot of people were in the same position as me. And that position was being consistent and putting in the efforts and really truly working on myself and putting in the work but somehow the results just weren't matching up with what it was that I was putting in or I didn't feel like my results were matching up with the efforts that I was putting in. And so then we get into a position where we're pressuring ourselves to get things done instead of encouraging ourselves to keep going. And so the topic, the building block, the idea of the day is really that Consistency is key. Consistency is the name of the game and giving yourself grace and being gentle with yourself and being a cheerleader instead of a hurdle for your own self to get over is the way that you're going to get there. So the more than anything, this is just a, a gentle reminder. Note to self, that quote that I put out was truly for me because that's what I was feeling in the moment. But the fact that it resonated with so many people shows me that this is exactly what we do need at this point. Is a gentle reminder that it's a, it's a marathon and not a sprint. And the way that I look at it is where you are at your job, where you are in your career, with your business, in your relationships, in your financial journey, as long as what you're doing is adding value, it's done with integrity, and you're following a proven system, a proven recipe for success, then your time is guaranteed to come. Unless somehow you ended up on a completely wrong track, which likely will never happen, and I'll get into that in a second, but unless you're on a completely wrong track, as long as you have those three things, you're adding value for other people, like you're helping other people in some kind of way, you are doing what you're doing with integrity and you can go to bed at the end of the night knowing that what you're doing is good and rooted in good and the foundation of it and you're following a recipe for success then as i said before your time it absolutely will come now the part of that that might get a few questions is what do you mean a recipe for success if the path that you're on either you have a mentor or you've seen it done, you've seen success, you've seen the receipts that show if you do this, this, and this, you will find success. If you talk to this many people each day and you have this type of conversation and you put in this amount of effort, then this is the result. A proven system where either somebody else has found success and you've seen the receipts to show that, hey, this is the roadmap, this is the path that they took in order to get there. That's how you know you have a recipe for success. Success principles are really one in the same. You can pick up any books, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Think and Grow Rich, From Good to Great. Like The list of books just go on forever and ever where people have actually put in between two covers the exact steps and what it took for them to find success and what it will take for you regardless of what path that you're taking to get to where it is you're looking to go but of course each industry is a little different each job each position is a little bit different so you're gonna have to tailor those success habits but the foundation is really the same and so as long as you're you're doing those exact things what I've learned more than anything is everything that you want 
that you truly want, you will get it. There was one time, I can't remember where I heard it, but I was told to look around me at every single item I have, every possession, everything that's going on in my life. At one point or another, I wanted that thing. And that's why it ended up in my house. At one point, I wanted this camera that I'm recording on. At one point, I wanted these books that were on my shelf. At one point, I wanted this home that I'm living in. And even if it didn't come in the exact time that I wanted it, it still happened. And it happened because that's what I wanted. And I truly wanted it. And so that just goes to show that anything that you really, truly want and you're willing to work towards and work for, you will have it. It just might not be on your timeline and that is okay. And even beyond that, in terms of your timeline, this really leads into my next point, which is a reminder that everything we do also has to be rooted in faith. I don't care what your religious or spiritual beliefs are. If you don't believe that there is something bigger than all of us, if you don't believe that our purpose is so much deeper and larger and we're made in the in the image and the likeness of something much greater, something and someone much greater than us, well, I I mean, <laughs> none of this is going to is going to help you at all. If you don't have faith to lean on when you do feel like you hit that wall, when you do feel like maybe I can't go any further, you have to be able to lean on your faith. And faith is being able to believe in and understand and see things that we've never seen before, that we've never been able to touch before, but we can feel it and we know that it's real and we're able to work towards it and build towards something that we've never been able to see before. And so being rooted in your faith knowing that there's a power stronger than us guiding us all the way through this, that will help you through this marathon. And so you'll stop feeling like you need to run a race because you know that everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen. And so in the beginning, I mentioned something about, you know, as long as you're, you're doing these three things, the building an integrity and following a recipe for success and making sure that you're adding value for other people. If you're doing those three things, unless you're on the wrong path, then you're gonna get to where you're going. And I don't actually believe that there is a wrong path unless you've selected to go haywire and you know in your heart, <laughs> you'll feel it if you're on the wrong path. You will know deep down if you've, if you've made a wrong decision, if you've made a wrong turn and you're not in the right place. However, just because something is not happening when you want it to happen does not mean that you're on the wrong path. What that might mean is that you had to go through another season of growth of development, you had to see another hurdle, you had to climb another ladder, you had to exercise and train and get through an additional phase in your life before you were actually prepared to get the thing that you were working towards. So for example, if you never had to struggle with a team, or you never had to really step into that leadership role and guide people and be able to delegate and, and manage a team, well, maybe you're gonna go through a season where your relationships are gonna struggle and you're gonna have to really focus on them and learn how to maintain and nurture those relationships before you can be blessed with the team that you've been working towards in your career, in your business. And so you might have to take some time to do some personal development, to go maybe to therapy with the people who you're struggling with, to reevaluate your circle and, and place people in your life where they belong. And so you might feel like for that time you're on the wrong path or something has gone awry, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe you just had to grow through another season before you could find the success where it is that you were looking to find it in the first place. And the reason I'm thinking so hard about relationships is I, I have one of my family, most of my family is truly like my, my best friends. My family is my everything. And so my auntie was checking in on me and she asked me, you know, hey, I, I know you had set this goal for a milestone in your business. Did you reach it? Were you able to, to get there? I was checking in because I'm excited. I know you always set your goals. I wanted to check in and see how that was going. And if she had asked me that about a year ago, I likely would have got very defensive and I would have felt smaller if that makes sense because I knew I hadn't reached the goal that I said I was going to reach. And when I'm serious about something, I make sure to tell a lot of people about it. So not only I hold myself accountable, but now I'm accountable to others as well. And the fact that I had to say, no, I didn't reach the goal 
it didn't even phase me. And that showed me that I've really reached another level. Like I've, I've been able to elevate to a different phase in my life because instead of just saying, oh no, I didn't make it and, you know, come up with other excuses, it's like, no, I didn't reach that goal. However, what I did gain was a different financial benefit than the one that I was actually looking for. What I did gain was an actual, le- was another lesson in leadership and in self-discipline that I didn't have before I set the goal. So even though I didn't reach exactly what it was that I was looking for, there were so many other things that I built up along the way. And now that goal is still so close in reach. All that's left for me to do now is reach out and grab it. And so my hope for you, whoever you are listening to this, is that you can take that same mentality in whatever your goals are so it can help you encourage your way along your journey instead of pressuring yourself. Because sometimes it's not you. Sometimes you just have to go through another season or sometimes you just have to be able to see things in another way before you can actually have what it is that you're looking for. And whatever you're looking for might arrive in a different package than what you sent out for and that's really okay. But the most important part is that you stay consistent because consistency always wins. Even if we're tying this back to investing, they say time in the market will always beat timing the market any day. And that means how long you're in there consistently investing money, consistently sharpening your skill set and understanding of how business works and how different sectors work. It's the longevity that's going to beat you trying to reach a certain deadline or, or reach a certain finish line or get in at a certain point. So That's really it. That's the building block of the day. Just a gentle reminder to encourage yourself instead of pressure yourself to stay consistent and understand that as long as you are rooted in integrity and you're truly looking to add value and help others and you're following a recipe for success, your time is guaranteed to come. It just might not be at the exact time that you were hoping for or you were looking for. So, That is all I've got for the day, guys. I do hope this helps somebody. If it did, go ahead, send this to a friend, like, comment, subscribe, leave a review. You can download the Matrix Legacy app to stay up to date with all of our Matrix Legacy content. Go ahead and shoot me a DM if you have any ideas for the last few episodes of this segment. As I said, we were going to 52 episodes and we're almost there. So if you had any ideas for the last few of this segment of the podcast, then please do let me know. I will be here next week with another Building Block for Success. Until next time, let's build a legacy.